so the Christ is a, a term. So I just say, regardless of how you view Jesus, and let's face it, it's a remote view if we're considering it something like 2,000 years ago. That's a very remote view. That's a distant view. It's a, it's a difficult view to have clarity from. And, and actually, we don't go there in the movement. We go to, well, what is the Christ now? And, or what is Jesus now? What is that? And so it's, it's alive in that there are words from Jesus I'm with you even unto the ends of the world. You know, and that's one of those translations where I was reading and say, ends, like what, what was being said, if that's a literal coming forward and there's fact, it's not symbol, it's not codified, if, it, if it's actually telling us a truth that applies to us, and uh, what I came with is that we have these ends called deaths, and that those are the ends. That's what came out of my heart that was being referred to as, I'm with you every time you die. I'm there. I, I don't think that's like, and that's it, P period, good luck, goodbye, or too bad, there's the trap door. I'm waving to you as you go over the chasm. <laughs> something else. Something there that the Christ brings as a guide, a door, a way shore, as I am the light, I am the truth, I am the way. And, and to me, uh, if we said, well, that's a big, giant ego speaking, no person could claim that. I right, look at, well, Jesus explained, I'm not claiming that, that's the Father. When you see me, when you hear me, you're hearing the Father speaking. That's who has that authority. There's the anointing. There's the resolution. <laughs>